Hello and welcome to this little introduction to the Texture Atlas Generator add-on for Blender. So first of all, why do we need a Texture Atlas? If we want to export an object with, which uses multiple single color materials, like uh, this one for example, to a game engine, it is usually more efficient to combine these materials into a single Texture Atlas. That way the engine only needs to load a single texture and the corresponding vertex coordinates. Normally in Blender you have to bake the textures using the rendering pipeline, so I've created this little add-on, which can be used as a shortcut if you're using single color BSDF shaded materials. So first I'm going to show you how to install this uh, plugin. You simply go to my GitHub page or you can download it from Blender Market and you go to releases and just download the last release and i already have done that so that's why i have two of them now we can go back to blender go to edit and preferences add-ons go to install select the add-on and usually it's appearing right here but uh, since i've already installed it um, i'm just searching Texture Atlas, and you can see that we have the Texture Atlas generator, and we have also to um, tick this checkbox or to enable the plugin. So I've created this little tree with another add-on I've built. You can find the link to this add-on in the description of this video, but of course you can use any object you want. So the most important thing is that you use as a principal BSDF shader, otherwise the add-on will not work and you have to join this object and apply all modifiers so i'm gonna do that uh, for example i have a skin modifier for the stem i go to the modifier properties and apply the modifier and i select all uh, of the objects and press ctrl g in order to join this object now we have a single object and we can switch to the uv editing space in order to unwrap our object if you don't know what UV unwrapping is, don't worry, there are a lot of beginner-friendly resources out there. But just as a short explanation, you basically flatten out a 3D object in order to lay a 2D texture on top of it. Here we make sure that we are indeed in edit mode. And now we can UV unwrap the object by pressing A to select all vertices and pressing U and select unwrap in order to select the automatic approach for UV unwrapping. Now we can finally use the add-on for generating the texture atlas. You can find the options of the add-on in the material properties and you can scroll down and see texture atlas generator here. And so we know that the installation was successful and we can indeed use the texture atlas generator. Here we can just click the speak button because we're using the default values and now we can see that the left side has changed and in newer versions of Blender we have to also select the texture atlas up here in order to see what happened. The add-on detected the used BSDF base colors and created a tile for each color. So here we have the brown color for the stem and the three other colors for the leaves. The UV vertices are then moved into the corresponding tile. And here on the left side, we can see again that these vertices belong to the stem and uh, these vertices here belong to the leaves. So uh, just be aware that in this case, we have multiple cubes laying on top of each other. Now we can use this texture for a single material. For this, we go back to object mode. You can also turn on viewport shading in order to see the results. And uh, now we delete all the materials. Now we can see that we have no materials applied. Create a new material, go to surface, and in base color, we click on this little dot here, and we select image texture. Now we only have to apply the freshly generated texture atlas, and we can see that with a single material, we can apply all the colors of the different leaves and the stem. So I hope you liked this little introduction. You can find the add-on on my GitHub page or on Blender Market if you want to support me or the Blender Development Fund. Links are, of course, on the description. And thanks for watching and see you next time.